Hold up a second. Hold up a second. We started off raw. Yo, yo, what's going on, people? Well, this is going to be a different type of video. This is going to be a video to where um, <laughs> I'm revisiting a very crazy situation that happened last year. Pretty sure you guys know about this situation. The situation is was big as fuck. Two, one, go! Game! Yeah. I put my pants on. As you can see, Chris Rock is back. Chris, Chris Rock, after the slappening, that's what I call it, the slappening, he literally w blew the fuck up. His numbers, it's like when he got slapped, he got more popular. And that's probably because of how he handled it. I felt bad for him when it actually happened. But um, I have my views on it. I already made a video about it. You guys can check it out on my channel. I already discussed what I think happened in that situation. Everybody really knows. But, you know, just to, <laughs> if you guys want to see my take on it, it is going to be pinned up at the top, right where I'm talking right now. Give that video a look. So yeah, I'm about to check out this Chris Rock slap response situation. It's been a long time since he even talked about it. So I kind of want to see what he's going to say about it. Let's go. And his wife was fucking her son's friend. Okay? Now, Hold up a second. Hold up a second. We started off raw. What the sh- Holy shit. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. I do not blame him, for real. I, I do not blame him. If somebody publicly humiliates you like that and they slap you at the Oscars, there is no letting that go. So he, off the bat, just says, damn. Everybody knows his, his wife was fucking her son's friend. Jesus Christ. He's, <laughs> everybody knows, though. How about this shit? Chris Rock finally talks about the Will Smith Oscar slap in live comedy special Selective Outrage. Do I gotta hear you? Chris Rock wasted no time addressing the elephant in the room in his new Netflix special Chris Rock Selective Outrage. Oh, this is his Though Netflix. he saves the best for last. Netflix's first live event on the streaming platform, the actor and comedian alluded vaguely, at first, to the Will Smith Oscar slap okay. that took over the world following the 2022 Oscars. My reaction to this is I totally understand Chris Rock's frustration with the situation. Oh, for sure. The slap on live TV. Will Smith overreacted. Now what he did is he gave Chris Rock and every comedian the license to joke about his personal life. Chris Rock will now have top content. He will be funny as hell. And then his wife was fucking her son's friend. Okay? Now, I normally would not talk about this shit. Exactly. But for some reason, these niggas put They've been cheated, cheated on. on. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus Christ. This is a weird situation, man. This is a very, very weird situation. That's what happens when you're a public figure like that. Like Will Smith, man. Like Jesus Christ. Like I said in the last video, Will Smith had a lot to live up to. And he was a person who um, could not have any cracks in his armor at all because he perceived himself as being perfect. But people like me. Because I'm from where neighborhoods where Will Smith is from. I, he's from Philly. Jesus Christ. How he portray himself in Hollywood is not... It's, I know he's not like that behind the scenes. I know he's not like that. But what these people tend to do, especially people like him, coming from the neighborhood where he comes from, and his past and everything like that, Will Smith allowed his wife to literally control his career. Why the hell would you put, why would you even have a go on red table talk and talk about this dumbass situation in front of everybody and you just sitting there clearly uncomfortable and you just allowing it to happen? This, that's what he's saying. He's like, okay, you basically gave me free reign. I got my whole clip is full now. Thanks to you, you the bullet dispenser. Now I can, I'm shooting off shots everywhere because you fucking gave me the ammunition. Will Smith's situation is very, very weird. It's extremely weird. It's not normal. For real, it's just it's just chaotic. And in order for this to be solved, he has to get rid of Jada. He has to. He has to. I'm not just blaming it completely on Jada, though, because he chose to marry her. He chose to be in the situation. He chose to have a kid. I'm not one of those dudes who's just be being like, oh, well, fuck the woman. No, both of y'all. 
Because it's not just her. She's not holding you hostage. All you have to do is just leave. But he's not going to because he's not built that way. So they're going to continue to be in this crazy situation. It's the same with Blueface and that other crazy chick that she's with. That, um, yeah. What's that? What's that chick that Blueface with? I don't even know. She got a gap tooth or whatever. She's crazy as fuck too. But it's a publicity stunt. The reason why they're still together. Once you get famous and you're with somebody who's actually famous because of their crazy antics, it's going to be hard as fuck to get rid of them because they monetize this shit. And we're all just sitting here consuming it, just watching the clown show. It's dumb, man. None of us! They're like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's dick. How did that make you feel? Fucking stupid. Very fucking stupid. Why the fuck would you do that shit? She hurt him way more than he hurt me, okay? Okay? <laughs> Emphasis on it. Bitch. Literally everybody. everybody. Will and Smith, man. Me. Thank you. The person who was trying to call him. Thank you. That's some bully shit. Straight bully shit. You got all these people calling you a bitch, and the main person who you're gonna slap is a person you know you can beat. You are fucking. I'm just gonna say it. You are a bitch. I'm gonna say it like him. You're a fucking bitch. That's exactly what you are. You pick your target. If you a real thug, you don't you don't pick your target. You slap whoever is doing the damage to you right then and there. That's what you do if you a real one. But if you a bitch and you a bully, you're gonna find a person who you know you can slap and is not more than likely going to do something back to you. I don't like that shit at all. That shit is weak. It's very, very weak. Chris Rock said it perfectly. I respect Chris Rock way more. I don't expect Chris Rock to fight. Will Smith, I do. He's from Philly. And I know what he does. I know where he came from. I know his neighborhood. His neighborhood is not good. He had to fight. He had to, he had to be that way. So I know he's like that. But for you to go to Chris Rock when the whole world is calling you a bitch, you got all these people around you calling you a bitch, and you're going to slap the one guy who was your friend, basically. Now, I don't know what shit is going on behind the scenes, but from what he said, he tried to call you to give you condolences, and you don't pick up the phone, and you're going to take your anger out on him. I don't respect that shit at all. I'm about to do a video on this whole bully situation, too, because that whole Michael B. Jordan situation got me completely pissed off, too. I hate when black people do this shit to each other. It is weird. It's corny. That's how you use the word. You don't use it towards Michael B. Jordan that way. Yeah, I guess that was the end of the video. So, yeah, that's some bullshit. I don't like this shit at all. And <laughs> it took Chris Rock a long time to actually come out and just completely say what he really, really was feeling. I think that he was contemplating a lot on how he was going to address it. And he basically got to the point to where he's like, you know what? Fuck it. Why am I trying to protect him? If he don't want to protect himself, why am I hiding it? I'm going to have a whole special on Netflix and just go the fuck off because he put his shit on Front Street. And once you do that, you're free reign. That's the, that's the downfall about being a celebrity, especially as big as Will Smith. So yeah, this shit is crazy as hell. I know this is a random video. I just wanted to talk about this situation. I saw it drop. So I was like, you know what, man? I kind of want to talk about this since I did a video about it before. Make sure you check out that video too. It explains the whole situation. It's nuts, man, for real. But you know, these celebrities do what the fuck they want to do. They put themselves in the hot water and it's really, you know, we just enjoying the show. So I'm just watching it. But yeah, Will Smith, you are a pussy for that. Period. You a straight bitch for that. I completely agree with him. So yeah, my next video is probably going to be, um, I want to talk more about this whole AI situation. So stay tuned to that. A couple people in the comments wanted me to react to this one person who's not even an artist who's talking about this whole bullshit. So yeah, I kind of want to address that situation too as well. I got a bunch of video ideas I want to do, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Fucking Will Smith. Oh,